All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a nice compact factory that'll work for both iron pipes and copper wire. So uh, for a little before and after taste, uh, here on the left is the before. So this is my current uh, production line for iron pipes. Uh, you see I have the splitter going into two smelters, I splitting again going into four constructors, and this is giving me the maximum output for the uh, iron node over here. But you can see that this uh, factory is pretty large, it's pretty flat. I think it's taken up a 6x6 six six square. We're going to take this factory and we're going to turn it into something like this over here on the right. This is what I'm doing for my copper uh, uh, cable right now. And it is a compact 4x4 four four cube. So much less space and we're going to make uh, good use of the, the new elevators. So to kick things off we're going to go ahead and disassemble everything over here on the left. some of these conveyors over here. Alright, and I'm going to kind of place some walls down as a guideline. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do was keep absolutely everything inside of this 4x4 four four cube, uh, and that includes the conveyors themselves and all different other components. So I s said it was 4x4, four four, but actually it's a 3x4 with a little notch cut out of it, like so. And uh, that's actually where my input's going to be, it's right there. So first things first, I'm going to place my production components. and uh, It's going to be four constructors. I'm going to go ahead and line them up. Now I want them to be as close to this wall as possible and they're going to be a little off-center. The key here is I want my splitter uh, to go in the center. I'll actually place that first just so it's a little... So I want my splitter to end up right here uh, as close to the middle, right on that line. So that's going to work out to me placing my constructor about here. And the splitter will adjust my location. What will end up right there. Then another constructor will go right behind it. And my constructor inputs will be facing towards the center and their outputs will be facing outwards. I will do the same thing with my other constructors. this one first. So as close to the other wall as possible. Input towards the center, output outward. Splitter is going to be right in the middle. And the last constructor, same thing. jump down and I'm going to connect everything up so far. And I'm going to place two smelters run up here and do it just so it's a little easier to see what I'm doing. So my two smelters will be lined up with these constructors. Uh, same deal, output on the outside, input on the inside. And I actually want to line it up, uh, I believe, to the outside. So the white box will line up to the outside. Or is it the other way around? Oh, you're right. White box is to the... 
actually had it backwards with the smelter. The uh, output goes to the center. The input is on the outside. Is that right? Mm, input. Output. The white box will be on the outside lined up. We'll see how that works out. Easy to change if I need to. And we're going to go out uh, one tick, then over, out one tick, and then over. There we go. So it's a nice little meet in the middle. And those are our production components placed and hooked up. So the next thing we're going to place is our storage containers. Those are going to be on the next floor. So I'm going to place a wall on the outside here. And then these 8x1 foundations. I'm going to place a few here. So I have to line up this uh, storage container with the constructor that's underneath it with the input facing outward. So you can see I don't want this line, I want that line right there and that's going to be the constructor underneath it. So once I place that I can remove this foundation because it's no longer needed. And then I will go to my conveyor lift, place the one on the bottom. And you can see the arrow there, or the line there, it snaps to the top. So that hooks up my output for this constructor to this storage container right here. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Here, same thing. Give myself an extra wall to work with. right let's see all right I don't see the the line which is gonna believe that I don't have it lined up right Last one over here. Nope. Nope, that's not lined up. I think it's snapping to one of my buildings over here on the left. That's what I want. Uh, no. 
Nope, no snap. Hmm. Let's run back up here and see. Maybe I messed it up again. Oh, okay. It was just the angle I was looking at. It was weird. Alright, so at this point, you have your four outputs hooked up. So you've got your smelters to your constructors to your elevators going to your outputs right here. So we're nearly there. We just need to make sure that we have proper outputs, or proper inputs going into our smelter and give ourselves some space if we want outputs to go out of the uh, storage containers. So I'll show, do a little reference check over here on the pre-built one just to make sure I do this right. Yep, so we have the splitter here and then we're going to have some placed uh, containers going up and over. Alright. So I'm going to remove these two gates here. So this depends on how much space you want to give it. Uh, you could technically do it all inside. Like so, but you're going to have to remove the walls in order to feed your resources in. Uh, you could probably figure out a way to do it while just having it feed through one side, but I prefer to have it look a little more symmetrical, which is why I have it so. Sure, it was something like that. So, this is the part where I'll, I'll need a little bit of uh, guide rails in a second. But for now, at least, I'll place it like so. Make sure we're contained. Yep, it's still contained. Still contained. back up to my lookout tower. Now the idea here is I'm going to uh, use an elevator to bring the resources up and over these storage containers and they will still fit within a, a four wall area. And to illustrate that I'll go ahead and build up uh, four walls and then a foundation. Put them right there. I'll go ahead and build my elevator now. So you see it feeding in on both sides. And this is where my outputs will be. I'll go ahead and remove these two guys. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have elevators over here, and they're going to be going uh, down, actually. And in order to get the elevator to go down, I'll have to do a little bit of uh, finagling. So let's see. Put a wall up here. 
Let's get some foundations. And then I want to get a nice curve in the center. Properly. I think I'm gonna try it this way. I'm gonna try it a little differently. Oh, I can't afford that. Whoops. Let's put that one back. Let's see if I can do it like so. So I, I have to have the starting point be up here, and then the ending point will be right there. Then I can remove the conveyor pulls and the foundation that I used, but I'm going to replicate the same thing over here. So now I have a route for my input to take uh, that will feed into my smelter. So last two things to do is power it and give a space for my outputs. So I'll go ahead and do the space for my outputs first. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is give me a nice little output here. And that's going to go that way. This one will go that way. Um, and you'll see what I can do with those in just a second. Same deal over here. Let me remove this wall. Don't need it anymore. this guy. So I'm going to do one more elevator lift. Go up one notch. And it's going to meet at a conveyor pole stack. Which actually I'm going to, to make this look a little nicer, I'm going to end it one early. Sometimes these conveyor poles really don't want to line up nicely. There you go. You just got to find the right angle. Boom. So, there's a little double output there. Uh, you could technically do it differently. There's a couple different ways you can route it to, to get it to do what you want it to. Uh, that's just the way that I want to do it. that one so I'm gonna grab some iron plates real quick which is just gonna be over here in my jumbled factory
the same thing with this guy. I don't want him to be on the edge. I'd rather it be just before the edge. Oh, I'm gonna drop off again. And some people may not like having their storage containers be on the top floor. Um, I'm assuming you could probably also reverse everything I just did and have your production on the top floor and put your storage containers underneath as well. Or you could even just route uh, the outputs somewhere else. If you would prefer it to be there. that hooked up. Now for power, this is the easy part. One pull there, one pull there. And then I will have my uh, connecting pull be right there. So we'll do power there, power there, power there, there, there. Go to the power. Go to the power, and then this guy we connect to wherever. Which I'll just bring him out here to replace the power pole that I deleted. Um, and I'll hook him up there. Let's see if I can find a open. Oh, it's too long. Alright, so everything is powered. Let's go ahead and assign uh, what they're going to make. So they're going to make iron rods. Which means I will smell iron. step is to hook up our resource node. So here's what I'm gonna hook up. This iron right here. A nice little clean hook up right there. So now that everything is powered, let's go ahead and run up to our vantage point and make sure everything works. So you're going to see the iron go in and then get split the first time, and then it should end up in these elevators going up. should be entering the second elevator and going back down into the smelters. Smelters are now sending iron out into the splitters, which will then route the iron into the constructors. Now the constructors are sending my iron pipes 
up the elevators and into my storage containers. And I should see the storage containers start spitting them out, uh, and then this line here should start backing up. Alright, so you see how it stopped there? So this is what I was talking about before a little bit, is sometimes the connections can get a little weird here. Uh, so to fix this, if you run into this, all you have to do is fall off the base. Now, uh, you have to pull out your belt and just kind of click. Click, like so. So you have to kind of uh, do a little attachment. Just like that. flowing into all my storage containers. Well, not this one yet. Let's see. Yep, there they are. This one's got some. Yep, this one's got some. And you can see my lines backing up. Alright. And there you have it. So that's how you make a nice, compact uh, production base. You're still getting the full uh, production we had before, but now we're using less space. You could technically close all of this in in a uh, just a black box. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want me to do more of these videos, let me know in the comments below. So catch you all later.